So good morning. Um, this is Bill with the Knitted Schnauzer here. And uh, recently it's uh, been a topic of discussion on Topo Toppers, a Facebook site, about uh, finding ways to cover up the key uh, entrance on your handles, such as uh, this handle right here. How can we cover this up so that the um, water, but particularly if you're off-roading and you get some like mud and dust and all this stuff. Well, they don't, for this particular handle, I don't believe they make any, uh, any, any covers. Uh, when I started out with uh, topo toppers, when I picked mine up, Katie made sure that I had some, some uh, special ones. These aren't them. For the uh, for the tea handles in the back, and they're very nice. Um, but I don't know about you all, but I'm probably pretty much guaranteed to lose those within a short period of time. So I decided to come up with a way to make some uh, some handle covers, handle socks, uh, whatever somebody wants to think of them. And it occurred to me that. Uh, one of the things I could use is uh, bicycle inner tubes. Now, believe it or not, this is a bicycle inner tube. Uh, bikes have changed a lot, and so this is an e-bike inner tube. Pretty large, uh, but anyway, they're free. Uh, so what I did was I essentially cut off a section. I, I cut off something that's gonna be wide enough to cover the, the handle. So the first thing I do is just just cut off just cut off a section of the tire. Then um, I just cut the circular part out so that now I have um, a fairly wide strip. So what I'm going to do is essentially, um, as you can see, as you can see from this one here just going to make two slits um, and so it's easy enough to make the first slit you can make that pretty much anywhere you want what I discovered was that I think this method works a little better than trying to punch a hole in the actual inner tube and so what I do is I go down and I essentially cut just like a little tiny sliver out out of the, uh, the rubber Then I put this slit on one side, as you can see it fits, and then I figure out about where I'm gonna need to make the next slit. It's probably gonna end up coming to right about here. So then I just take, again, using the scissors and making a little tiny, slit knowing that it will stretch so now I have now I have the cover and it fits on over the handle now this obviously is certainly one of the most attractive features you're going to have on your on your truck but you so you can trim it up a little bit if you want to make it fit a little better and, um, you know, which I've done. But the nice thing about these is that they are inexpensive, meaning free. Uh, they actually keep a pretty nice fit. Now I know there's gonna be a lot of people stealing these because they're gonna be so valuable, but I have a ready source to remake them. Also, if I lose them, which is possible that I might, again, I can make more. So that's it from the Nittish Schnauzer. My basic philosophy is that if you can make dog out of it, make a dog out of yarn, you can make yourself some lock covers, lock size. Thank you.